Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. I work for Comcast Greater Boston Regional. I'm here to show you an install Internet Essentials. This is everything you're going to find in the box. And now I'm going to show you how to put it all together. You'll have the modem. You should get a six-foot cable jumper. And then power cord and also Ethernet cable, just in case the customer doesn't have um, like a smartphone or something that you can use to hook up. The first thing I would do is connect it to the cable wall outlet. So today I'm going to use this particular setup, but you'll find in the residence units just a regular wall plate like this out of the wall. So the first thing you would do is you would just screw it into the wall plate. And again, I'm going to use over here just because this is where my live coax stuff is. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this in. You know, a little snug. Just enough so it doesn't move. I'm going to turn around here. So on the back of our modem, we have the same style outlet. We're going to screw that in. I recommend doing the cable part first. All right. And then once you have that done, you have your power cord. I'm going to plug that in here. And I'm going to lean down here and plug it into electricity. So once you do that, it takes about five to ten minutes for this to come online. And I'll show you the lights afterwards of what you're looking for. While you're waiting for that, you can ask the resident if they have a smartphone. They can download the Xfinity My Account app. This will help them reach out to us if they need to once the service is up and active. They will use their email address to sign into it. You can also use that to activate their service, but I'm going to tell you a different way afterwards. So we're just going to wait a few minutes for this to, um, to come up. So after about five or ten minutes, you will see this particular light sequence on the modem. And what you should have is the top three should be solid. And then the fourth and fifth one, those are the Wi-Fi. So they can blink or be solid either way during the whole process, even after we're complete. Once you verify that you have this, we can actually move on to the next step, which is the actual activation. And what that requires you to do is, on the back of the modem, there is a XF setup. Now that's the actual Wi-Fi that you're going to connect to. And you can use your phone or the, you know, the resident's phone or iPad, just, just something that you can connect wirelessly to the device. So you connect to that, and the password's right below it. So once you're connected, and you verify that you are connected, if you go to Xfinity.com slash activate, and on the first page it'll say, let's get you started, and then you press the next button, and the next screen should prompt you to Make a Wi-Fi name and password. So, you know, ask the resident what they would like to call it and a password. You know, I try and tell customers to make it something related to them somehow. I wouldn't use their name or address, but something related to them so that it's easy for them to remember. So once you see whatever the name they made, connect to it, verify you can go to a site. I normally tell customers like an ESPN or an eBay just to make sure they're able to get online. And once you know that you're online, you're actually done. That's the completion of the install.